What's up guys, Servios here. So last time I was here I showed you how you can go viral on Instagram, but fast forward I realized that those tips might not be viable for everyone trying to grow on Instagram, as that video was focused more on how to grow repost pages and how to go viral with already proven viral content. But if you are growing a personal brand, you have no idea if the content you are going to post today is viral or not. So you need some other growth strategies that will work for you, which I am going to cover in this video. To grow a personal brand, you must understand that it is different than just reposting viral content from other pages. When you are establishing your brand on social media, Instagram in this case, you need to have a reason why people will follow you or even just check out your content. You need to provide value, value, value and value in whichever way the audience perceives it. You see, when you are reposting other people's content, you are already providing value to people with the content you post because it is high quality from the get-go. When trying to attract people to your page, Page, you are inviting them into your life and why would they stick around if they aren't gaining anything from your company, be it entertainment, knowledge or just your presence. So let me lay out some essential steps to follow when growing your personal brand on Instagram. Number 1. Branded content. Brands usually are given more trust by their customers so you need to make sure that you are branded and your social media looks clean and professional. So to do that I encourage you to establish a color theme on your Instagram or at least make color themed highlight covers and profile picture. Right now I will show you two examples, figure out which page has higher chance of converting followers into clients. Bonus tip, when deciding the main colors for your brand, take a look at this color board to get an idea which colors to include to best reach your desired outcome. For example, if you are trying to sell digital marketing services or anything B2B related, I would recommend to use black and white or white and black color themes as those make your brand look professional and clean. But you get the idea, decide which one works best for you. Number 2. Create value packed viral posts. It is nearly 2021 and with Instagram getting rid of many alternative growth methods, content is becoming more and more important. Your posts must be high quality providing value to your followers, preferably including emotive responses like joy, curiosity, sadness and fear. Share your tips in the niche that you are in that may help others and largely benefit them. Also don't be afraid to sometimes share some controversial posts or questions. Remember all publicity is good publicity, but try to stick more to the good publicity to make yourself respectable. Number 3. Ads. In the upcoming videos I may share some cool ad strategies and secrets but pretty much you just want to use some of your best performing posts and take an example and make an ad around that. Story ads are very effective because they can get pretty cheap but at start you might just want to test a lot and gather some information and not spend that much amounts on advertising. But for personal brand profiles ads can be one of the greatest tools to use if you use it correctly. Tip number 4. Follow no unfollow. Yep, you heard me correctly, follow no unfollow, at least at the start of your page. Follow at least 2000 accounts within the niche and don't unfollow them. These will be the fuel you need to hit the explore page and rank on hashtags. As you may already know in my post that I share on my Instagram page, link in description, I have stated countless times that you need to build up momentum to have your account snowballing with growth. And one of the best ways to do that from the start is to follow people within your niche, easiest form of advertising on Instagram. Just search a big account or hashtag, find a profile, hit follow and he or she sees a notification that you have followed them. They check your profile and if all the criteria I shared above is met, you have a pretty fair chance of securing a follower. And once they have followed you, your post from now on will show up on their home feed and then they may choose to interact with it, which will signal Instagram that your post is actually good since your followers are interacting with it. And keep in mind that a like from a follower or a like from explore page is way more influential than a random person who just visits your profile. So for anyone in the DM groups, make sure to follow everybody. Tip number 5. Engage, engage and engagement. If you ain't no Brad Pitt, people won't just follow you and share your profile without any reason. So the best way to make an engaged audience is to be actively interacting with your followers via DMs, comments, stories or maybe even their posts. By creating these connections with your followers, you have a stronger likelihood of them sticking around than just forgetting about you the day after they followed you. This regular engagement from fans will help to keep your non-viral posts active and not restrict your reach on your viral posts. So as I thank you for you sticking this far into the video, 
video, I have a bonus tip for you. You may slowly want to expand to other social platforms to be visible from more angles than just Instagram. This could definitely be YouTube, Twitter and these days even TikTok can be powerful if used with some creativity. So to recap, branded content, value packed viral posts, ads, follow at least 2000 people, I forgot to mention, take it slow if you don't want to get banned by Instagram, no more than 50 to 150 per day. Engage, expand your social presence as well. These are the main takeaways for you to be able to grow and reach 10,000 followers within a month. Let me know how you enjoyed the video, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm of course, and see you in the next video where I cover something very interesting. Peace.